Hello, and yes, Ms. Gungampo is teaching math today. So, first things first, I want you to go ahead and grab a scrap sheet of paper. Doesn't matter what kind of piece of paper it is, just a regular piece of paper, um, pencil, and this is for you just to write on. You're not going to be graded on it or anything like that. I just want you to answer the question, answer the questions I'm going to ask you, okay? So, once you have your pencil and paper ready, we will start. How many feet in one yard? How many feet in one yard? How many quarts in one gallon? How many quarts in one gallon? How many days in one year? How many days in one year? How many days in one leap year? How many days in one leap year? How many days in February when it is not a leap year? How many days in February when it is not a, lip, a leap year? How many days in February when it is a leap year? How many days in February when it is a leap year? How many ounces in one pound? How many ounces in one pound? How many months in one year? How many months in one year? Okay, so once you have finished that, you can go ahead and go back to the top and we're gonna check your answers, okay? So how many feet in one yard? That's three feet in one yard. One yard equals three feet. How many quarts in one gallon? One gallon equals four quarts. How many days in one year? 365 and then there's 366 days in a leap year. How many days in February when it is not a leap year? There are 28 days in February when it is not a leap year. So when it is a leap year, there are 29 days in February. How many ounces in one pound? There are 16 ounces in one pound. And how many months in a year? There are 12 months in the year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, that's 10, and then 11, November, and then 12, December, okay? So, you can go ahead and um, what I want you to do is either turn that piece of paper you are using right now, either flip it over or get a new piece of paper because this one, you know how in phonics, when I would have you guys write the words on the board, List them in ABC order. Take a picture and send it to Mrs. Dano. Okay, so in math, what we're going to do is you're going to do the same thing, only you're going to write down these problems on the board that I have here, and then you're going to find the answers to those. As soon as you finish doing that, take a picture of it and send it to Mrs. Dano. So I want you to either flip over the paper you were using just now, either flip it over and write these down, or um, grab a new sheet of paper to write on. So you're going to write 24 divided by 4, 16 minus 9, 13 minus 8, 12 minus 7, 12 times 3, 8 plus 5, 2 times 3 plus 7, 11 minus 9 plus 6. You're going to work out those problems, put the answers right here right next to them, take a picture, and send it to Mrs. Spinano, okay? So, since it's a video, you can pause and write it down on your paper or rewind or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and erase this so we can move forward. Okay, so I have my 1 to 100 chart here. Okay, and we're going to count by fours. So let me see, maybe I should stay on this side. So we're going to count by fours. I'm going to point so you can count along with me. We're going to do it twice, okay? Ready? So we're going to start with four. So four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six. 40, 44, 48. We're going to stop at 48. Let's try it one more time. 
Make sure you're counting. If you are not counting with me, make sure you're counting with me the second time, okay? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48. Good job. Now we're going to go over our um, division. Well, let's go ahead and do the multiplication and division by threes. Again, together. Let me grab my other my other um, magnets. See if they can stay position. Okay, so just like we have been doing, we're gonna go through it twice. Okay, we're gonna do multiplication and division. But we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna do multiplication twice and then division twice. Okay, are you ready? Zero times three equals zero. One times three equals three. Two times three equals six. Three times three equals nine. Four times three equals twelve. Five times three equals fifteen. Six times three equals eighteen. Seven times three equals twenty-one. Eight times three equals twenty-four. Nine times three equals twenty-seven. Ten times three equals thirty. Eleven times three equals thirty-three. Twelve times three equals thirty-six. Okay, so one more time. Zero times three equals zero. One times three equals three. Two times three equals six. Three times three equals nine. Four times three equals twelve. Five times three equals fifteen. Six times three equals eighteen. Seven times three equals twenty-one. Eight times three equals twenty-four. Nine times three equals twenty-seven. Ten times three equals thirty. Eleven times three equals thirty-three. Twelve times three equals thirty-six. Great job. Wonderful job participating. Now we're going to do the division. We're going to do it twice just like we did with the multiplication. Are you ready? Zero divided by three equals zero. Three divided by three equals one. Six divided by three equals two. Nine divided by three equals three. Twelve divided by three equals four. Fifteen divided by three equals five. Eighteen divided by three equals six. Twenty-one divided by three equals seven. Twenty-four divided by three equals eight. Twenty-seven divided by three equals nine. Thirty divided by three equals ten. Thirty-three divided by three equals eleven. Thirty-six divided by three equals twelve. One more time. Zero divided by three equals zero. Three divided by three equals one. Six divided by three equals two. Nine divided by three equals three. Twelve divided by three equals four. Fifteen divided by three equals five. Eighteen divided by three equals six. Twenty-one divided by three equals seven. Twenty-four divided by three equals eight. Twenty-seven divided by three equals nine. Thirty divided by three equals ten. Thirty-three divided by three equals eleven. Thirty-six divided by three equals twelve. Great job. So today we're going to be working with money and you have learned so far that when counting change, you start with the largest um, piece of money first when giving change. Like if I were giving change for 50 cents, if I have a, um, a half dollar, like I do here, if I had this, a half dollar, if I had this, I would just give this for 50 cents. If I don't have that, then I'll give two quarters because 25, 50, two quarters equals 50 cents, okay? But today we're going to learn something a little different. We're going to go ahead and see if we can give out change with use, using only dimes and pennies. So I'm going to go ahead and set aside the, um, the quarters and the half dollar so we're going to see if we can count out change using only dimes and pennies so i bought something and i my change back is 57 cents so let's see if i can count out the change using only dimes and pennies all right my little box here will cooperate so here's we're going to counting out 50 cents first Here's one dime, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay, so I have 50 cents. Let me count it again. One, see one, two, three, four. 
five. So how many dimes is that? That's five dimes and they equal 50 cents because 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, all right? So I have 50 cents, I was supposed to come up with 57 cents. So in order to get that, I need to go ahead and get, I can't do a, a nickel, because I said I'm only using dimes and pennies today. So that means I need to count out pennies for the seven cents. All right, so here's one, here's two, here's three, here's four, Here's five, here's six, and here is seven, seven cents. All right, so how many dimes did I have? I had five dimes. Let me go ahead and pick what I was looking for. I was looking for 57 cents. And I have five dimes. is seven pennies. If you notice, how many dimes do I have? Five, right? Because this is a dimes place. I have five dimes to equal to 50 cents and then seven pennies equal to seven um, cents because that's the pennies uh, place. So let's go ahead and see if we can count out two dollars and 34 cents okay so let me grab my bills once again 34 cents using only uh dimes and pennies so here's one dollar and another dollar so it's two dollars and uh, now i need to count out my change so 34 cents Let's see if I can count out. Let me actually write it on the board first before I count out the, the change. So I said two dollars and thirty-four cents is my change. Back. I already have the two dollars. So looking here, here's my dimes and here's my pennies, right? So how many dimes do I need? And how many pennies do I need? Well, let's see. Let's count it out. To get to 34, to get to 30 cents, here's ooh, 10, 20, 30. Okay, at 30 cents, I need 34 cents. I can't, if I add another dime, I'll have 40 cents. So I can't do that. Let me see if I can get my pennies back out. So let's see. Here's one, two, three, and four. So I have 34 cents, 10, 20, 30, and one, two, three, four pennies. So I have how many dimes do I have? Three, I have three dimes. And how many pennies do I have? Four, good job, thank you. I have four pennies and three dimes. That's what we'll be doing on our worksheet page for today. So go ahead and pull that out. It's worksheet page number 318. Page number 318 should look just like this. All the money on the back of it, okay? Please put your name on the top so I know who it belongs to or some Mrs. Nan knows who it belongs to. Okay, so the first section says, circle the number of dimes in each amount. All right, so let me go ahead and put that on the board. The first one is 23 cents, right? It makes it easier for you because what they want you to do is to circle, so here's the 23 cents, and then you guys have there, they listed the dimes for you to help it out. So, and then the pennies, one, two, three. Okay, 
So what they want you to do is to circle how many dimes you have here. So the correct way to do that section would be to circle uh, how many dimes do I have? Let's count. I have one, two dimes. I have two dimes. That's what you're circling. You're not circling the money. I mean, feel free to circle the money as well, but this is what you're circling. Okay? Does that make sense? If it doesn't make sense, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. The next section says circle the number of pennies in each amount. So you're using the exact same amount of change. All right, so looking at section number two, the first one is also 23 cents. So you're circling how many pennies do you have? How many pennies do we have? One, two, three. So you're going to circle the pennies that you have in 23 cents, okay? Section number three is something you can do on your own, write the sums and differences. Um, let's go ahead and do the first problem together. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the board. So in section number three, your problem says $12.03 plus $11.81. I was just looking to see if you guys were alert and paying attention to see if I said this right or wrong. Does this mean we're doing subtraction or addition? It means we're doing subtraction. Good job. So first thing we do is we look to see is the bottom bigger than the top. So I'll take the bottom. One. Is it equal to, less than, or greater than the top, which is three? Hopefully you said that one is less than. So it's not bigger than the top, which means we can go ahead and subtract. Three minus one equals two. The next one. On the bottom, I have eight. On the top, I have zero. Is eight less than, greater than, or equal to the number zero. Well, hopefully you said that it's greater than. So what happens when the bottom is bigger than the top? Sorry, there are bugs in here. What happens when the bottom is bigger than the top? Bottom bigger borrow. Okay, so I need to borrow from my next door neighbor, right? So I take away one and they're left with one. I come back and now I'm looking at eight and ten. Is 8 greater than or lesser than 10? It's lesser than, so now I can take away 8. All right, so 10 minus 8 equals 2. Remember to bring down your decimal point right there. And then next I have, I have 1 on the bottom and I have 1 on the top. Is 1 less than, greater than, or equal to? The number one that I have on the top. Hopefully you said it's equal to, so I can subtract, but one minus one equals what? Zero. Over here, I have the same thing. I have one on the bottom and one on the top. Where you said that it's equal to, so I have zero. So essentially, when writing money, you don't need these two zeros right here. If they are before the decimal point, you don't need the zeros. So I'm going to go ahead and erase those two zeros. You can keep them. I won't mark it wrong if you keep the zeros. Okay, if you keep the zeros in your answer, I won't mark it wrong. Here's my dollar sign. My answer is 22 cents. All right, so go ahead and do the rest of that worksheet. Um, and then that will be it for math for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you guys again sometime soon. Goodbye.